Hey guys, it's me Asia. I'm back today with another video, but today we have a special guest. You know who the guest is? It's me. <laughs> okay, so today, Jenna, you wanna let everybody know what we're doing? We're doing a mukbang. And because of the Jenna, our Hawaiian on the team, we're gonna do, this is like heavy. And I saw plate lunch, mukbang. But it's gonna be a little Q&A. So we got our questions. That y'all asked. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I like this question. Oh. I feel like we might have different answers, that's why. Maybe. Okay. What is your guys' favorite set to run together? Um, I like slides. I like the slides, but when we have when we run a three. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Chef kiss. What a word. Chef's kiss. And the connection this season? Yeah. No, we pristine. Said, we said at the beginning of the season, I was like, Jenna, we're going to get this to work. Exactly. And we did. And we did. Yeah. We did. I just that. like, I like hitting slides better. Like, I just feel like more dynamic. Like, I feel that. My favorite thing is like when it's like a quick ball in transition. Yeah. And I you're love like, those. I'm you're like, like barely getting up, really, like, because it's so fast and it's just yeah. like. And there's just like so many ways to hit. Like threes, like you kind of, you like, there's blockers there. Exactly, and like you just have to find that little, yeah. the gap between blocks. Like, okay. Oh, it was Baylor. And it was like set point. I think it was like the fourth set or something. And it was in transition. And I was like going slide. You know how me and Sid always kind of like run into uh -huh. each other? And she like moved out of the way. She was like, Asia, go, go, go. And I was like, you sent me. It's four, but I was like, that was so funny. She's like, Asia, I, I want you to do the ball. <laughs> That's it. She's so cute. Yeah. What is your favorite clothing brand? Ooh. Hmm. I get a lot of stuff from Pretty Little Thing. Yeah. But I found it's because of the prices. I put you on that, huh? You did, thank you. I like Princess Polly. Yeah, if I want to spend some money, Princess Polly for sure. And like, sometimes like I buy a lot from like Sheen and Zaffle. I know that's not good because like, it's fast, fast fashion. I know, it's fast fashion, but I'm on a budget. Favorite place to travel to for vacation or for a game? For a game? Well, our Hawaii trip was fun, but I really liked when we went to Wisconsin. That was a cute place. I was going to say that. That's definitely my favorite game place. But For vacation? Home. That's not vacation, that's going home. But I don't know, but it's like vacation, so... And what about it? I feel so tired. I'm laughing. I'm dead. First impressions of each other. And did y'all ever argue? So initially, I thought I was not like this girl at all. Like zero percent, actually. Just based on her Instagram, is that Molly P? It's Molly P. I got one. Yeah, we're doing uh, the loop on. Say hello. Come say hello to the camera. Hey vlog. That's like yummy. It is very much so yummy. But yeah, I thought I would hate her. Um, what was your first impression of Jenna? We talked about this the other day. Do you think you're gonna like her? Everybody had such a bad first impression of me from my Instagram. That's what it was. I was just looking at her Instagram and I was like, she just seems odd. Yeah. Like nothing like, oh, I don't think I'll, I'll like her. But I just was like, uh, what was it? Like, what do you mean by odd? It just seemed very like, I'm in Hawaii. I'm in Hawaii. And I wear my swimsuits everywhere. And we did this thing for this. The graduation post really threw me off. And I know this is what y'all do. And I what, love it. What post? With all my lays. No, because oh. I love that because we used to do that in club because of um, Tawny and Lana. But yeah. I don't know. I was like, no, you did that for graduation. So it's a celebration. So it makes sense. It was a big deal. But no, you're cool. Uh, honestly, we really weren't friends until this year, so. We were you friends were friends with, last year? We oh, Jenna wasn't friends with anybody last yeah. year, so. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was sad. And now we're close and we're good. Do you guys cool. argue? I don't you think didn't. I've argued, but maybe I have. I think we've just been annoyed with each other, have we? Yeah, yeah, I think it's just like, it's not like we had like something to argue about. We'll just be like, we've been spending way too much time together and so then like something we're doing is annoying the other. Oh. Actually, Jenna got mad at me freshman year, but that was like too personal of a story to tell, but she was mad at me for something that I just like couldn't even control. And then like, 
You couldn't control? <laughs> she apologized and cried to me about it. Because I felt like I had to just to like, it was a fake cry. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, oh, what was your first impression of me? Oh, honestly, I don't really know. Like, I didn't, I didn't have any like real triggering thoughts about it. I can't, <laughs> I can't relate, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just like, oh wow, like she's pretty, she seems really cool, and I was like, wow, we're gonna go to school together. I didn't think I was gonna dislike you, but I just didn't think we would be friends based on your vibe. Well, like, look at us very... now. How tall is Asia? She's seven one. Yeah, seven three actually. <laughs> they lied on the roster. Yeah. <laughs> the shortest and tallest height you would date. Well. Since I'm 6'3", I would say the shortest I would date is 6'3". The tallest, there's no answer to that. But I do be like 6'8", 6'9", for me. And I might get pissed off by Joe's answer, so we'll see what her answer is. Okay, well, seeing as that I'm borderline like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, yes, I was just honest about my height. Yeah, Spoiler alert! Volley Talk's gonna love that one! Okay. Volley Talk watch my videos? Volley Talk definitely watches your videos. Okay, that's nice. The do right comment. That's how they do. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Um. Okay. Seeing as I'm that short, obviously I have more of a height option. And when I get married and have children, I would like my kids to have an upper hand on their height. So with that being said, the minimum is six one. I'll say six one, and that's fine. What's wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with it. My minimum is six one, even though I'm five six. Okay, Misha. Why are you gonna call out your mom like yes. that? She she does not need to she does not need to be my dad. That was unrealistic. Well, then my mom is five four here. and my dad is eleven. Okay. I didn't ask to be here. <laughs> I did it. I did not. Do y'all think you'll ever see each other when you finish college? Duh. Jenna's leaving me in a year, or I guess she will leave a year before I leave. Yeah. Who knows when I'm leaving? Volley talk, I don't know the answer either, so. <laughs> Volley talk knows all the answers, actually. They do. All the, all know I really think they have a camera in our gym. I think they do too. Cause they'd be like, I saw X, Y, Z in practice and I know this is what's gonna happen. They're wrong most of the time, but like, they saw what? I know, fave moment of the season. The season was a blur. <laughs> <laughs> it was a blur. I mean, beating Baylor both games. Yeah. That was exciting. Honestly, I think my mine like yeah. might have been. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite moment might have been K State. Oh, and yeah. beating them because like their crowd was really loud to me too. Yeah. And their they had some section was Yeah, their student impressive. section was, was very good. And um also like you can hear everybody and their parents section was that they were giving me very much club tournament vibes they were giving me very much opinionated parents like they were really getting into it they were there's that one man do you remember that he was yes, so aggressive he's yelling. so aggressive yeah, that's right. i saw the Talking basketball team. team you know i knew this basketball team i saw him too don't worry and they were like they were getting into it too mm -hmm. but that man Damn man, he was like calling me on like doubles and stuff. He was. And I was like, I don't double. Oh I don't oh double. God. I don't double. Sometimes. When the ball's wet. Yeah. That and it's not really even double. It's like it falls to you. No, it's really your only when the ball is wet. You'll be like, it'll happen, and you'll be like, oh. like you get so angry. It's We're so like, frustrating. We know it's wet. Like we know you didn't just like lose the ball. Like, it's okay. It's so funny. And I try not to laugh because I know you're upset, but like, I laugh in my head. I smile a little bit. Actually, my favorite moment of the season was getting that ball up during Baylor. Are you kidding? Oh, 100%. Ace O'Neal keeping that ball alive. Fields over the Baylor. I'm a DS now. She yeah. said defense. The defense. Y'all see, see DM me about that video. She said, it was on me. I was so mad. Long arms, hello. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Yeah. Ooh, 
Tay Madison. Y'all go follow her, uh, subscribe to her YouTube channel. It'll be somewhere on the screen right now. Damn. She said, what's your favorite thing about your bestie? Love y'all, we love you too. Okay, I think my favorite thing about Asia is that like, we literally came in to Texas like the same day. And then like, it was just from the jump, like inseparable. You know what yeah. I mean? And it was just like immediate vibe, like yeah. our whole freshman summer was so fun. And it's been like that ever since. Our life is a movie. And she's just always down to do anything. That's the thing. Like we can just I hit each other up and we're like, let's go, let's go do something. Let's yeah. go do this. How do I word this? I feel like we're similar in the fact that like we can vibe with different groups of people. Like you're, you can really like adjust different situations. Like you have a lot of different vibes too. Like our music tastes are, I mean, you listen a little more country than I do. But you know what I mean? Like yeah. you can really hang out with any type of person. Maybe. Okay guys, we're talking about the one time that a racist person tried to kill me. So I was driving from, I was either driving from here to home. Hate crime, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> It was a hate crime. Okay, <laughs> there's just no reason this should have happened. I don't know, I was in between Dallas and here. I don't know where, which way I was going. But I was just driving, minding my business. And this, I'm not, I don't want to sound racist. I love every person. I just have to say his race because it's important in the story. It was a white man. Old white man. Old white man. And I was just minding my business driving and he like looked at me and I looked at him and he looked at me and I looked at him and I was like, okay. And all of a sudden he's like, like literally tried to like- Why have I never me? heard this story before? Oh, it was when I was coming back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he literally tried to like, I, like the like wall was right here. Like, you know, the walls that yeah. on the highway. And he like swerved over and I was like, ah, like mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. I was like, and there's cars in front of me behind me. So I couldn't like speed up, slow down. So I like low key kind of like sped up, but I was really close to the car in front of me. And he did it another time. And I was like, what is going on? He was just like looking at me while doing at it. And not doing at it, looking at me while doing it. And I was like, is he trying to kill me? Probably. And then I got away from him. But yeah, it was just so random because that was just so unprovoked. It wasn't like he just like kind of swerved, like he it was turned. Like, it was, okay. yes. Yeah. And I was like, I literally called my mom. I was like, mom, this man just tried to kill me and I'm really scared. Like I, I zoomed away from him and I didn't see him again, but. And I wasn't like close yet. So I was kind of in the middle of nowhere still. Oh, no. And like being by yourself, like I made like turn your music off here. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of the moments. That's really one of the moments where there's like no music. Yeah. And you're just like thinking about your whole Both life. Hands yeah. Both hands. Hands. I was with my parents and we were going out to Waco to see my cousin. And we were like probably like halfway between Austin and Waco. There was like this whole caravan. Oh. There's this whole Trump caravan like heading towards Austin. And I was so scared because this is like this is the morning that they announced oh, that it was yeah. Joe. And so I was like, so y'all just lost. And now what? Like you and your buddies are just gonna like go into Austin and like wreak havoc on the city or something? Like what is going on? I was so nervous. I'm sorry. If you're still a Trump supporter, you can unsubscribe <laughs> now. I'm following you on every single platform. Actually, I kind of want to. I don't know. No. Nah. <laughs> Y'all can go ahead and Where? comment that down below. What is it about this man Why that's like, I'm going to put I'm gonna put his flag up and I'm going to sleep under it every single night? And we can talk about it. <laughs> he said, does everyone get along on your team? No. I hate Molly. <laughs> like, every day that I have to see her, I just literally want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we're gonna do a couple more questions. I'm literally about to fall asleep while I'm sitting here. What is your favorite part about playing volleyball at UT? You can go first, Jenna. I just really love it here. Like, took them forever. The atmosphere is amazing. And like, this sounds so corny, but like, literally being a Longhorn is something that not everybody can say they are. And like. I feel like everybody wants to be a Longhorn. How many how many schools claimed us as their rival? A lot. Too many. That's probably one of my favorite thing that is though. Like going to Texas is such a great like is like a whole experience in itself. Yeah. And being from Texas and going to Texas is so like. <laughs> what other schools you want to go to here? None. I will never forget when um, Bebo tried to fight the Georgia Bulldog. That I was know. actually one of the funniest And things. that's how you knew we were gonna win too. Yeah, like, if we would've uh, lost after that, I'd have been like, come on Bebo, you started too much beef for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big ass cow. What do you want, what else do people you expect? 
I'm sorry. He's a big care. I don't care. black cow. <laughs> All right, you got the last question, John, and we can be done. What is y'all's least favorite thing to do in practice? I've actually made a top five of my least favorite drills with Bree. We did that one day. Food? It's a mukbang. <laughs> So I made a list. I forget what's, wait, what's the order. So, box trans is my least favorite. That's number one. That's basically where it's just like a gasser. Like literally just, if we hate the middles, y'all go do this real quick. Um, second, tip pepper. Because they're so big that people will take the ball and just throw that right back in your face. I'm gonna do that. I want it to be over. I want the drill to be over. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Third, middle versus middle. It's like just like middle versus middle. First five wins. Hate that drill. Hate it. It's just really just like, you suck if you don't win. That's how I feel. Oh I hate line like that was that was five. That was literally, that was yeah, line I line cross hate cross. That literally just 20 minutes of just not 20. It's 10 minutes of just torture. My shoulder. It's like 10 minutes. I don't know what the other one was, but yeah, those are my least favorite. Go ahead. Line line cross cross is up there because I want to rip my shoulder off at the end of it, and I would say. Another, oh, I hate when we start playing and I get excited because it says play written up on that whiteboard and then we're playing mini games like 17, 21, but we're only in one rotation and it's always going to be rotation one and four and I'm literally just spending the, ne the last 30 minutes of practice running suicides all around the court. I don't like that. At least you I hope Jared's watching this. <laughs> Think he watches your videos? He watches some of them. I remember he sent me like Jackson. Jared, Jackson. if you made it this far into the video, text me a peace sign. I'm so serious. If you made it this far, and discontinue box trans forever. Text the peace sign. I came down. Hold up, hold up, and your girlfriend wanna like me. <laughs> Okay, that was the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining me, Jenna. Logie's in the back. Um, come on, Logan. This is Texas Volleyball. We love you, we miss you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!